Text messages containing greetings, comments, and questions have been projected into plumes of artificial smoke. Mr. Pop, and the smoke is about to return, and it's all because of the memory cloud. <laughs> the project, which is entitled Memory Cloud, intends to create an interaction between a 5,000-year-old kind of communication, smoke signals, and a new one, SMS. Cloud, the whole concept, the idea of making people's ideas and thoughts about the city visible within the city. So this year, as we were trying to figure out what we could do as a centerpiece for Detroit Gallery Week, one of the things that came to mind is just the resurgence that's happening within the city, how interested people are. Everyone has an opinion these days about Detroit, and um, many of them are much more positive than they have been in the past. It's very interesting. First time I've seen a uh, uh, artificial smoke event. I understand it. I guess people are texting stuff and it's going up on there, um, which is all cool. I think it's super cool that it's gathering the voices of people and, and sharing it. I actually, I typed something in from home, so I, I used the website. And my friends texted and, I, and one of them already saw their message come up, which was really cool. Uh, there's something very simplistic with the simple yet profound, because it's just texts being projected, but the texts also they move and they sort of like, of course they dance, they come towards you, they go away toward from you as well. So there's that uh, experience as, uh, visually as well. There's also this idea of interaction, uh, the interactiveness. So we're not just watching words or text that was pre prescripted, it's what the people here have texted in. So there's that immediacy as well, which is, which is exciting and, and, and very interactive and participatory. created conversations not only in the sky, but it's also created conversations among people that didn't even necessarily know each other. It brought diverse groups of people together. I think a lot of people that had possibly never been in Detroit at night. I live over here at the Park Shelton. I came running down because I thought the Detroit Institute of Arts was on fire. <laughs> so all this smoke from my apartment window. So I came down to put out the flames. But it's a beautiful, beautiful project. It is a marvelous concept. And uh, I was talking on the phone, telling somebody, come on down here. Right away, you've got to see this. This would be a wonderful way to propose to your girlfriend. That there's a lot of love here. So, it's my home. 
35 years that I've actually lived here. 86 years? Yes! I've lived in Detroit all my life. Every single day I know made, I made the right decision uh, being here. Um, and it is, it's a great place to be. Better than all the other cities. Not only because I love the D, but because I am part of the D all my life. And it's a great place to be. It's not empty. We've lost density and we need to get maybe the density back. It's a work in progress, but there's a lot of vitality left here. I think there's so much good energy in Detroit. People are doing stuff. The people are, are extremely friendly and uh, helpful. People in Detroit, they've got guts, you know. Lived through a cold, a couple of these cold Michigan winters. You can survive, then you can make it. <laughs> and they're, they're doing amazing things. Amazing. It's so easy to find people who are willing to help out with whatever project you're doing. I was really impressed by everyone's motivation, kind of uh, just desire to make this city better, to kind of turn it around and make it something great. I think people feel like they have ownership of the city and that it's full of possibilities. And so within that, I think people are trying and they're creating a sort of place which they can call their own. That I think this is one event that will help promote Detroit and make it make it uh, uh, world known, not just for the old auto industry because that that's not helping as much as it used to. We have we have to diversify, and the arts are helping us diversify. And this is one of the arts. It raises people's levels of consciousness uh, about the city. Uh, again, with the text and the words, uh, it just all comes together. I think it's really about establishing a certain structure where a community can emerge without necessarily having to identify what that is. That art actually is a is about expression and it's not limited to distinctions of who is an artist or not, but it's really about trying to engage and to participate and to do your part. And I think in many ways that's really what makes this project human. So it's less about the buildings, it's less about the city's past and its kind of history, and it's more about this kind of idea of almost a living sculpture evolving and the story keeps going. I mean, it's not something that is finished today, but I think it's highlighted with this kind of event. There was an energy that uh, Minimal Forms brought to the project, and I think that that's one of the things that's so important uh, in contemporary art right now, that it's not just the people who are viewing or consuming the art, the people who are making the art are just as excited about using the city um, as a site, as a platform. So I think Detroit's got a great future. It's got a great past. It's been here 300 years. I hope that Detroit is coming back. The arts are, are one of the big uh, uh, advantages. The, the people from all over the world are moving here as artists. 
town is just ripe and ready. And right now things seem to be coming together. Industry is returning to the city, there's commerce, building is returning. Just seemed like a good time to have um, Theo and Stephen here to help us think about who we are. But now I've seen more hope in, in this community than I've, uh, uh, than I've ever seen. I think it's very good and it, it's, 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 there's a lot of cars and, and it's a nice place to live and there's um, a lot of cars, yeah. No matter what it turns out to be or how the future um, how it unfolds, it's all part of it, every bit of it.